Bonjour, mes amis. My name is Jean Fontaine Le Renard, and I am a simple fox, and I would love to share this with you. Le nom de Père, le Fils, le Saint-Esprit. The disciples asked our Lord Jesus Christ, what is the greatest commandment? In the Gospel of St. John, Jesus tells them to love one another as I have loved you. That is our Lord's greatest commandment. Does that not seem like an easy command? It is simple. You just need to love each other. That is easy, right? Friends love their friends, parents love their children, lovers, of course, love each other. So, this comes naturally. Love one another. For simple. Some might even go so far as to say that it is instinct. A mother deer loves her fawn just as a lioness loves her cub. Even a mother fox loves her pup. Love is something that has been a true cause of life and focus of life, well, since the very beginning of life. So the question we must ask ourselves is, if it is natural, if it is something that has been part of life, then why did Jesus say to his disciples, love one another? If it is something that would seem to come so easily, why must Jesus mention it? Friends, the love that Jesus talks about is not a love that is so easy to come by, nor is it easy to understand. No, the love that Jesus speaks about goes far beyond the love of foxes and pup, though and fawn, or even friends. No, the love that Jesus talks about is a godly love, is the godly love, that I believe is hard to understand without God or indeed without Christ. So, this is the love that causes us to lay down our life for our friends. In Jesus' case, they went so far as to die, and to die on a cross. Certainly that is the most, but for us it is the love that causes us to truly want the best for others, rather than ourselves. It is the kind of love that makes us go out of our way, to help a stranger. It is a kind of love that makes us demand justice for those who are oppressed. It is the kind of love that demands humane conditions, even for our enemy. It is the kind of love that says, forgive them, they know not what they do. It is the kind of love that caused God to give his only son on our behalf. That is the love that Jesus talks about. If you love one another, then the world will know that you are my disciples. I think it can be easy for us to love those who are around us. I love my other friends, my other friends who are foxes. They are like me. They are foxes. We like to raid hand houses. We like to outsmart farmers by avoiding clever traps. They are my friends and family. I love them, and I know they love me. But I also love a stork. I hope someday you can meet her. But I love a stork. I started out not liking her. I thought she was my enemy. I thought she was my competition. I was even going to trick her and make fun of her funny looks and her body and the weird sounds that she makes. But then I got to know her, and I learned that she has the most charming personality. She has the most astounding wit, and she is one of the most loving and gentle spirits that I have ever met in any other animal. I love my friend, Miss Stork. And my friends give me grief about it. Some only do it in jest, but others really don't feel that I should be friends with a stork. I don't know what her friends think. Surely they are not happy that she is such close friends with a fox, a creature that would by nature raid her nest. But she knows me, 
and I fight my nature for her sake. At any rate, I find myself with the greatest affection for her. I love my friend, the stork. The disciples were people who were by nature poor, rough men. The people that Jesus loved, taught, healed, were all people who were in some way cast out by society. The tax collectors, the harlots, the women at the well, and so many others. Indeed, the sinners. These were the people that Jesus loved. These are the people that Jesus sought out. These are the people that Jesus gave the good news. The good news of Jesus Christ is the gospel of love. It is the love a fox has for a stork, even though his friends ridicule him or even shun him. It is the love that others have for strangers that causes them to protest and march for justice. It is the love that we have for one another that keeps us in the hardest and most challenging times in our lives. It is a love that God has for us, his creation, his children. God is love. Let us love one another as Christ loves us. Dieu vous garde, au revoir, mes amis, je vous aime.